News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, NDOT discusses roads at the BOCC meeting. Pay It Forward receives an Act of Kindness Award, and two people are injured in an accident. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, May 12th, 2015. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Two people were medically transported from a collision this morning. A two-vehicle accident occurred this morning on Highway 372 and Red Butte Street. According to witnesses, the accident appeared to have occurred when the sedan was attempting to make a left-hand turn onto westbound Highway 372, and the van was attempting to make a left-hand turn onto southbound Red Butte Street. The back tire of the van hit the front of the sedan. Two people were injured inside the vehicle and were transported locally to Desert View Hospital. No one inside the van was injured at the time of the accident. The van sustained damage to its tire and rear axle. Knight County Sheriff's deputies conducted traffic control while Nevada Highway Patrol is heading up the investigation. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. The Nevada Department of Transportation discussed some items at the Board of County Commissioners meeting. Some of the discussion addressed crash data involving injury and fatal accidents over the past five years. The number one reason fatal crashes occurred in Nye was due to drivers going off the side of the roadway and overcorrecting their vehicle. Presentation, discussion, and deliberation by the De Nevada Department of Transportation regarding the Nye County 2016 work plan. Um, our, I, I don't think it's anyone has any doubt. Our, our top priority is safety. We have a goal of zero fatalities. That's our goal because no other goal is acceptable. Um, so we're always working towards uh, that very lofty goal. Um, we are providing you with some uh, crash data. Um, this graph shows our critical emphasis areas. That's um, the areas we have found through that's data driven that have been our highest. Uh, crash areas to focus on as part of our strategic highway safety plan. Um, they're all going in the right direction. They're all declining except for pedestrians, so that's something that's getting extra focus this year. Um, we're also providing uh, crash data in a slightly different format this year. We're still uh, working out some of the kinks of this, but we find a heat map um, so that uh, the counties and the public can see really where those those big issues are, um, red is fatality, um, those are the ones we're, we're mostly focused on, but of course we want to make all of our roads safer. Uh, in addition to that, we've provided in your packet um, actual uh, crash statistics that we collect and provide throughout the year. Um, these are the totals. This is a five-year total for Nye County, um, 64 fatalities. That's pretty significant. Um, our overall program, we provided you with uh, amended project sheets. Um, some of those projects we had in out years have actually moved up. So uh, we're actually anticipating doing quite a bit of work in Nye County in federal year uh, uh, or fiscal year 16, about $41 million. So that's, um, that's I think, pretty significant for this county. Some of the key projects, um, we have a, a couple of large projects on SR 160, uh, one of them being a shoulder. Uh, Sorry, a 3R project including uh, shoulder widening and slope flattening. Um, and it will incur uh, include some improvements at Johnny's Curve. We're also adding on to that uh, project turn uh, right turn pocket from uh, US 95 to SR 160 because we know that's a big uh, safety concern. So we are going to 
try and move that into uh, the okay. contract that will be going out next year. Um, in addition, there are uh, two roundabouts um, and prompts that are planned yeah. as well. And here at KPVM TV News 46, we've made it our priority to meet with law enforcement to how to control your car if it should go off the roadway. If you need more information, we have a video uploaded on how to prevent a rollover accident on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash KPVM 41. A U.S. military helicopter was declared missing today while Nepal to support earthquake efforts there. The UH-1 Huey helicopter had six U.S. Marines and two, two Nepalese aboard at the time. Radio transmissions indicated its crew was having some type of fuel problem before it went missing. The U.S. government is hopeful the aircraft didn't crash but doesn't know. At least 50 people have died in Nepal because of the latest large earthquake there. Another 1,261 people have been injured. 32 of the Asian nation's 75 districts were affected. At least 17 people in India have also died as a result of the tremor. Today's magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck about 9.3 miles deep. The magnitude 7.8 quake that occurred on April 25th, which killed more than 8,000 people, was centered east of rather than west of Kathmandu. Mandu and 50 miles away. The earlier tremor was also more than three times bigger and 5.6 times stronger in terms of energy released. When we return, we're going to tell you about today's Act of Kindness Award. This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Welcome back. An Act of Kindness Award was presented today to Deanna Foster from the Pay It Forward Facebook page. This is Deanna Foster, a, a lady that I'm just meeting, but I've heard so much about her. She's done so many things in our community. And one of the people who mentioned her name all the time was Butch Harper, because she's, she's helped so many people in our community. So for this special occasion, we'd like to present her the Andre Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award. And it says, present it to Deanna Foster, pay it forward. And when you hear her entire story, you see that's exactly what she's been doing. For your compassion and tireless effort to help those in need. Deanna, we'd like to present the Andre Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award to you for everything you've done for our community. We are so thankful and blessed to have you in our community. Thank you. It's, I couldn't do it without the community, I tell that's, you. It's everybody that helps. It's awesome. Tell everybody what you do. We donate to needy families, um, homeless veterans. We sort clothing to give to children, beds, anything we can get a hold of to help the community. But the community helps too. We've helped the elderly clean rooms. Um, people are given rides to work. It's, it's just been a great thing. I love it. When I heard about how many hours you volunteer, have you ever totaled up the number of hours that you volunteer, say, on a weekly basis? No. <laughs> <laughs> this lady is all over our community doing so much and very, very deserving of this award. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And go to her Facebook page. Yes. Pay it forward. Pay it forward, Pahrump. Inspiration Senior Living is having their second anniversary this Saturday at their location on Java Street. Everybody mark the, your calendars for May 16th from 10 until till 2 in the afternoon. Inspiration Senior Living is celebrating its second anniversary. And in true Inspiration style, we're celebrating with the community. We have an open house as well as an anniversary party and a health fair. We have a lot of the medical community coming out to assist with all kinds of information that's going to be out and available. We have over 28 businesses, both in from Las Vegas and especially Pahrump, that's going to have information that's pertinent to seniors. So I encourage you all to come out. It's free to the public. It's at Inspirations 1554 South Java Street, 89048. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give me a call. I'm Tanya Brum at 702-845-4748. That's my direct line number. It's my cell phone. Or you can call the community at 775-2300. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody there.
Great Basin College will be graduating another record number of certificates and degrees this spring. The number of students graduating has stayed level or increased in all of GBC's service areas. Some service areas have seen a 35 to 47 percent increase in graduates in the last year. Graduation dinner receptions in Battle Mountain, Pahrump, Ely and Winnemucca will begin early this week. The Elko graduation ceremony will take place at 10 a.m. Saturday in the Elko Convention Center. This year the college has received applications for 553 certificates and degrees up from 520 last year. It's anticipated 251 students will walk across the stage to receive their diplomas at the ceremony on Saturday. Based on applications, the college estimates this year it will award 59 bachelor degrees plus one post-bachelor certificate up from 57 in 2014, 304 associate degrees up from 273. Of the degrees to be awarded, 27 are Battle Mountain graduates. 21 ELA graduates, 52 Pahrump graduates, 73 Winnemucca graduates, and 380 from Elko and surrounding areas, including a number from out of state. When we return, we're going to tell you about an update of, of memorial service.